have to show them. We have to show them how the police department is going to work. How are you going to combine those two bodies? Who's going to be in charge of what? You get into the fire department. You get into utilities. You get into general government, and that's just a few things. So I would encourage us as we embark upon this is that we look at it very carefully, that we look at it very methodically. Because one of the things that people look at, and gosh, those of us who have been here a while, I, we can remember Kaz Walker going, buying time on TV to speak against Metro government back in the 70s. But people are very leery of the fact that special interests are behind this, quote, Metro government. I think that we need to show them very clearly that this is from the people and we're going to do what the citizens want. This will affect over 400,000 people. The other thing that I think people are leery of is that when we talk about metro government, and this has come out of the last couple of votes that I recall, people seem to feel like that we've taken the Davidson County Charter, that we've marked out the word Davidson, and we put in Knox. We're a very unique community, and we have very unique needs, and we just have a very unique way of doing things. And I think that we need to address that. And yes, we can look at other charters as a guide, but if the citizens feel like that we're just going to mirror Davidson County, I don't know that they're going to buy that. So I guess my bottom line is, is that I support the idea of talking about it and dialogue. I definitely want to talk to constituents, but I would encourage us to move carefully and methodically. Otherwise, we can see this going down the road that the other three efforts have gone down if we're not careful and if we're not smart in how we do this. Thank you, Commissioner Hammond. Uh, Commissioner Luto. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, although I don't live inside the town of Farragut, I do represent the folks that do, and uh, I think it would be very important that we, uh, if this were to move forward, that we include uh, the town of Farragut so that uh, they will have a voice in uh, that charter and, and whether or not they would want to participate in that or continue on uh, with their own town and, uh, um, and, and have their concerns voiced as well. Okay, thank you. Commissioner Luto. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I served on as a county representative under, under the unification charter provision, not the metro one. You have to remember that provision was passed into law basic for Knox County because they didn't find the metropolitan one sufficient. So that was the general state law. That's the one we attempted last time. But my main comment here is that the time limits, once you start this clock of moving, you think that nine months or so, and I think that's about the same on the unification one, too, is a long time. In fact, it was a very short time. Uh, and the thing is, there's many things that can kill this. There's not too many things that will pass it. What you need to do is to remove as much as possible those things that are killers of, of this provision. And the main one that I see that are killer is the putting together of the employee bodies and how that can be worked out. Therefore, I think it's important for the executive parts of government of Knoxville and Knox County to outline before we start the process how you go about merging these so that you don't have employees groups out there saying, kill this thing, because they, in fact, will kill it. And what amounts to those things need to be worked out, and they're not easily worked out. Once you get over that and know how to merge those things, including the pension system, and, and the pension system last time was addressed because I addressed it for several months on this, and we took people that were poles apart on this and came to an agreement. The Charter Commission says, we don't understand it. And I says, look, look at this way. You have parties that are this far apart and where they come from, and they used all their expertise, their actuaries, their attorneys, and everybody, and they finally come to agreement and says this will work. It probably, the process says it will work here. So there's the many things that ought to be addressed first to get some clarification, and then you point a charter commission to answer some of those questions that people can readily understand, okay, whether we keep the, the top cop issue. People can understand that. But the merging together of different departments require more time and effort. And if we're serious about it, we will have that exploratory committee made up to try to iron these things out. It may take a year or so to do that. Once they get those things ironed out, that's the time to point your charter commission to take those 
Uh, in a few months, you think it's a long time. It, it was very, very short time because we were rushing at the end to complete that, and there was very little time at the end to really deal with the public because once this goes away, the Charter Commission is out of it, there's only a few days, you know, a couple months before you vote. There needs to be efforts to go out and tell the community what this does and what it doesn't do. And it's a tremendous sales job, and I don't mean that negative. I mean that very positive that you have to go out and you, you, may, you have to be able to address those questions that the citizens will, will come up. What's this going to do? Well, some things you can tell them, and some things are looking into the future uh, where, it, where it's going to go. Uh, the whole thing of efficiency was discussed length. The notion of where this would save money, where there's duplication, was discussed. I know we hired an outside firm to come in and study it, and while we hired a good firm, they didn't know anything about this community. And it took them a while to learn about it, and they used it most of their time just trying to learn the nuts and bolts about it before they could even come in and analyze it. So that one needs to be done early, not late. We need to be looking at that study from the get-go, not three months before we're going to vote. We need to look at you know, a year or so before we're going to vote to look at where the economies would come from so that we have a report which the citizens of Knox County could rely on as to what is the effect of this. So this shouldn't be entered into lightly because the worst thing you want to do is go through and spend a lot of your time and effort like I did and have it go down. I mean, that's no way you want to spend your time and effort because you, you can put another 10 years before it will come up again. Basically, it's been about 10 years, and that's about every time. I've been, Mr. Hammond, been through three of them, yes. Uh, yes, there is a sparring, and you will have that. But it can be done, but there's a lot of legwork that needs to be done first before we vote on the Charter Commission. That should be after we've ironed it out. Then we appoint a Charter Commission of members, because they have definite deadlines. They have to draft a document. But the agreement should come early, not during that process. Commissioner Lutho, that's some great ideas. And, uh, you know, I think as we look at this and move forward, I think if we, if we put it out far enough, like taking effect 2014, then you've got both sides of government that can start reducing the number of employees and, and people have enough time to decide, you know, how, how a body's going to come together. So I think it, instead of rushing it, if we, if, whenever we can get this thing going, if you put it out four or five years, gives people a little ease to work into this. I don't know if it takes that long, but it, it, it takes longer than a year, let's put it that way. Uh, Commissioner Lambert. I just want to say I'm very skeptical of metro government. Uh, I haven't seen a metro government plan yet that I've liked. Um, often it's been a consolidation of power rather than a consolidation of services. Uh, I would not support any form of metro government that uh, terminated an elected official and replaced them with an appointed official. Um, I think that Knoxville City and Knox County are really headed on, down a good path right now at partnering together. Uh, we're getting our codes together. Uh, we're, uh, um, you know, we're, we're really working well together. And, uh, and what I don't want to see is I don't want to see talk of metro government to disrupt that. I think that there's certain things that as a s separate sovereign city and separate sovereign county government that we can work together on and then there's some things that we can uh, keep separate and uh, and I'm just not sure if this is the best way to go I will uh, uh, be following these discussions pretty closely uh, again in theory I'm not against consolidating services but I just don't want to see this turn into a consolidation of power all right thank you Commissioner Lambert okay we'll move on clerk we have uh, 